got three fourth of your waste water which is just going off without treatment into surface water bodies like lakes or any kind of sink that you can think of rivers lakes any kind of drains there is a small numeric done okay how much waste comes from domestic our current i mean estimate is around 40000 million liters daily this is talk, talking of whole of urban india out of which only 21% is treated currently so 70 78 79% to the rivers and the streams industrial waste you have around 16000 or something like that million liters out of which 60% is treated so 40% goes again and it's that is more toxic and more dangerous than domestic uh, wastewater so added together you have around 40000 million liters going on a daily basis into these rivers polluting them so if you take the overall stock of fresh water that you have it would have taken 130 years i mean for the whole of that water to get substituted by wastewater this is assuming that we take fresh water every time and then give back waste water if you compare it to the utilizable thing it is just 50 years right and we possibly have been doing this pollution business for the last 20 years in this order of scale and magnitude which doesn't leave us much time so there is an accepted relationship between public health and lack of sanitation so waste water when we talk of it lot of it is sludge water which is maybe your bathroom or kitchen water but the dangerous component within the waste water is the fecal matter which is there and that untreated when you are looking at a vast colony of microbes right which can spew out or help in any kind of in transmission of diseases and that if it happens in a urban concentrated population kind of area the risks are high we we get into all types of diseases and waste water is the biggest culprit the world bank uh, clearly indicate there is a, a large amount of money is lost because of this uh, pollution uh, to an extent of 2.4 trillion rupees take the example of bangalore uh there are two types of households or three let's say households who are connected to the sewer network households who have their own on site sanitation systems right septic tank or pit latrine things like that but not connected to any network and households who don't have latrines so for households who don't have latrines fecal waste actually originates because they defecate in the open now in a urban area which are the open spaces where you ha- can get some kind of privacy or places where you can hide actually when you come to the periphery the drains are open so those are places where somebody looking at i mean defecating in the open could possibly go the other possible locations are railway tracks right which are all around the city uh so some bit of fecal waste will come directly into these drains bangalore somewhere around the 80s when it started i mean growing at this pace decided to use the storm water drains or the drainage channels as channels for wastewater also so the idea was that you will sort of get the wastewater from all the households into these channels and somewhere downstream you will set up your treatment plants right no so what has happened is all the nalas which are actually supposed to only carry rainwater are now effectively rivers or i mean drains of wastewater 
वी आर फॉर्चुनेट टू हैव मिस्टर राज कालवेस नेटवर्क ऑफ स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन विच इन बैंगलोर सिटी अब अबाउट एट हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स द पर्पज ऑफ हैविंग अ स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन इज टू कलेक्ट रेन वाटर एज एन वेल इन फॉल्स एंड कन्वे टू एट द नियरेस्ट लेक जस्ट द रेन वाटर नथिंग एल्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली एज आई टोल्ड अर्लियर बिकॉज ऑफ द लैक ऑफ सीवियर ट्रीटमेंट फैसिलिटी द लैक ऑफ अंडरग्राउंड ड्रेनेज फैसिलिटी एंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंट इज सीवियर ट्रीटमेंट फैसिलिटी सीवेज इज लेटेड टू दिस स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन विद द रिजल्ट वन एवर दर इज अ रेन फॉल वन एवर रेन वाटर कलेक्शन स्टॉम वाटर ड्रेन इट ऑल्सो कैरीज विद इट द सीवेज एंड डिलीवर्स वाटर मिक्सड विद सीवेज इन टू द टैंक्स because of that the entire lake system is completely contaminated it is contaminating the ground water there are certain lakes whose contamination is affecting the ground water to a radius of almost 5 to 6 kilometers areas around these lakes within that 5 6 kilometer belt is getting totally contaminated and it is not fit for human consumption and to clean it up it will take a very 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 long time even if you stop the flow of sewage from tomorrow may take another 5 years before you can improve the quality of the ground water when in the other cities if you look at it some of the cities where better planning has happened the pipeline network exists some of the drainages yes you might have cases like households with on site sanitation system having an overflow connected to the drain but they are not let's say i mean they are not carrying large volumes of wastewater I mean, smaller volumes will be there. Your sewer network also has its own maintenance issues, so there will be cracks, there will be leakages. These last hundred years, uh, there is a lot of, uh, um, I mean, uh, work has been done for uh, the conveying this sewage and uh, treatment. But in the process, uh, this uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, asset that is deteriorated over a period of time. It is not only the uh, the assets of uh, the Uh, the pi pipe network uh, so the sewer network but it's also the treatment plants which were constructed uh, earlier uh, requires rehabilitation for the houses who are not connected but who have sanitation systems they will fill up so there is an emptying which happens and when that gets emptied currently the law says that you cannot discharge into open land or open water unless you meet certain standards but there is nobody enforcing it So if I get a truck to come to my house to empty the septic tank uh I cannot actually guarantee where he will he or she will go and deposit the waste because they are taking it away from my household and possibly the nearest place that they can find is where they will dump it because for them decreasing the distance and decreasing costs versus what they are collecting from me is what they will make as profit right uh so that is another pathway i think technology is not a issue i mean technology is available but all technology comes at a cost cities at least uh, up to 2005 let's say when a national program started which is called the jnurm before that Uh, a few metro cities used to get funds for physical infrastructure none of the other towns had any direct source of funding which could help help them finance infrastructure so you actually depended upon the households to actually set up their own systems and had a very minimal investment in public infrastructure in terms of uh, households and cost when the state or the city is providing a service i am ready to pay for water but the idea of paying for a sewerage service I mean is not there in most indian cities for a period of time there is a, a the, the the areas have grown very big uh, in, in incidentally and uh, see the discharge of sewage also increased and uh, with the result the existing uh, um, sewer lines are not capable of uh, taking that load and uh, it requires a replacement of uh, these these uh, sewer lines and secondly the, the most importantly 
the quality of uh, the pipelines that we have used are very uh, low quality and that has resulted in deterioration and the collapsing of these, uh, see these sewer lines. Second is, we have written up laws and rules regarding the necessity of uh, treating wastewater and putting out only a certain quantity, quality of water into the open. But at enforcement, we have been very bad. A very dangerous question. <laughs> Tough one. Huh? No, if somebody has the solution, I am sure they will be talking to the Prime Minister and <laughs> getting it done. No? But uh, programmatically, what you would think is to incentivize the city to actually achieve the outcome. Right? So, figure out a set of, in initially you will have to finance. And we need lots of money. So, <laughs> I mean investments are going to be huge. And I mean, you have to be realistic about the fact that apart from the investment to create the infrastructure, you can't keep continuing to feed a city to maintain it also. So at some point, the city has to earn, whether it's earning from its residents or whether it is starting to earn from using the waste as a resource, etc., etc. But if that doesn't happen, it will be just one drain of financial resources, which possibly will not stop and will continue increasing because your urbanization will continue to grow. Second is you have to bring the private sector in. The private sector is already in. I mean, in the sense, all the honey suckers or the machines which empty septic tanks in Bangalore, most of them are private sector only, let's say 98%. So they are already in the business. I mean, the idea should be to regulate them in such a way that they comply with certain standards, right? So the service should be offered, the fecal waste should get taken out, but emptied safely. And that possibly requires a certain uh, convergence between the utility which owns treatment plants and a private sector operator who is only there in the collection phase. Right. Mm, apart from that, no, <laughs> no rocket science solutions. <laughs>